An attack with no boundaries. Heart rates were no doubt ticking skyward here on Hospital Row in Toronto today as staff logged on to their computers. Over the weekend, Britain's main medical network had to be shut down because of a cyber attack. Now, earlier at 5, we heard from the Minister of Health who confirmed that almost all of Toronto and Ontario's hospitals escaped unscathed. We're going to have more on that in just a minute. But first, we're looking at just how vulnerable we are here in the GTA should a cyber attack hit and how it could impact your day-to-day -day life. Imagine people getting control of air traffic control. From Britain to Beijing and beyond, the ransomware known as WannaCry, which exploits organizations using a vulnerability in outdated versions of Microsoft Windows, seeped into the computer systems in 150 different countries. For years, experts say they've warned the masses of the inevitability of a cyber assault. Here at home, it's a threat to our way of life. So things like Metrolinx, like public transits, like um, hospitals particularly, um, government agencies that provide critical services to the public. City News spoke with Metrolinx today. Their entire train and bus tracking system is run by computers. If it was ever compromised, all train service would be halted. They, along with the TTC, say they're monitoring the situation and acting accordingly. The Greater Toronto Airport Authority also confirms they're taking significant precautions to ensure their systems are safe. Experts estimate cyber breaches cost Canada $100 billion annually. In the U.S., they impact industry, business and the overall economy to the tune of $1 trillion. I would say the biggest cost is all of the business that doesn't get done because companies and organizations are closed, all of the surgeries that don't get done. These are very big numbers. Friday night we had a, uh, uh, a cyber attack. All five hospitals in Durham Region's Lake Ridge Health Network fell victim to the attack. IT systems had to be taken offline for between five to eight hours, but antivirus software was able to stop the attack from spreading. We're still in the midst of putting things back together again uh, as far as our systems are concerned. Attacks like these are a good wake-up call for everyone uh, who's connected to the internet uh, to make sure that you know their systems are in place, that, uh, that we're protected. The U.S. government says that more than 300,000 computers were infected worldwide and they are warning as well that more attacks could be on the way, whether they're different variations or even copycats.